My name is Elijah Weiss, and I'm a Jewish believer in Jesus Christ. And my name is Caleb Wad, and I am a Palestinian believer in the Jewish Messiah. In light of what's currently happening in Israel and in Palestine, me and Caleb wanted to get on here and talk about it. We are both from different places, different ways of thinking, different people, yet we look the same and we follow the same Savior. For those of you that don't know, Israel and Palestine are at war. Innocent people are being murdered for a cause that is not justified. If you want to find out more about what's happening in Israel or in Palestine, I encourage you to go check our YouTube. We have multiple videos out that explain the situation. It's sad. It really yeah. is sad. And, you know, if you, if you look at our current episode that just aired, the Apostle Paul in Hamas, he talks about in Thessalonians when Paul was in Thessalonica and the same thing happened. Not, not the war and that, but the same thing happened by... Whatever the crowd said was correct. And I almost feel like it's uh, repeated throughout history. Right? I We always get to a point where the social media or the crowd overrules the, the truth. Yeah. Like the truth can be out there and the truth can be known by everybody, but whatever the social media pushes is what's going to be heard and what's going to be taken into heart. 100%. I mean, look at, there's multiple different places in the Bible where you see it. I mean, even yeah. in this current episode, we talk about uh, in Thessalonians where these people were pulled out of their houses. Uh, it's talking about Paul uh, and Jason. And this, this man was pulled out of his house by a crowd because Paul wasn't there. And they wouldn't find someone that, that was close to him because they disagreed with Paul. That's it. They disagreed with something he said and that... They were upset about it. And that was enough for them to be warranted to start a riot and to try to pull this man out of his house. That's all it took. I mean, you can't even think about Jesus. I mean, the truth was right in front of them. Yeah. And they still hated Jesus. Yeah. Like, the truth, like, he performed miracles. The truth was literally standing in front of them. Yet they still... A hundred percent. But the thing is... Most of the people loved Jesus. You can read all throughout the New Testament where the Pharisees and the Sadducees were scared to do anything to Jesus because they thought a riot might break out. But the people's voices that they tried to instill what they thought was right, that's what ended up mattering. And the crowds that were formed, the riots that happened, yelling, chanting to kill Jesus, and that's what happened. People love Jesus, but the, the crowd at the time, that's the voices that was heard. Yeah. I mean, it's just crazy to think about how the only, it almost feels like the only voices that matter or the only time that voices matter is whenever there is violence taking place. Yeah. Because, I mean, I feel like, like this isn't a brand new thing. People have always hated Israel for what has happened. and But now it's just turned violent, and that's whenever voices get heard. Yeah. Instead of sitting down like we are and just 100%. talking, just talking about the feelings behind what is happening. But I believe that it's important to speak out for the truth, to speak out against what's happening right now, and let people understand that the media is not right. Let people understand that just because it's the loudest voice doesn't mean that it's the right voice to listen to. And if, if someone seeing this video simply understands that, the goal is accomplished. But beyond that, my goal is to spread the gospel. Our goal here at this ministry is to spread the gospel. Yeah. That's it, period. And this is a way to do that. This is a way that, that we can shift people's perspective we can let people understand hey what you've been seeing what you've been hearing that's not the truth but let me tell you the truth and while i tell you the truth about what's happening in israel and palestine let me tell you about the way the truth and life which is jesus christ yes. and let me tell you about the love that has overcome my life and changed me as a person the love that has overcome my grandfather's life and changed him as a person because that's the only thing that matters yeah. in anything period yeah a hundred 10,000%. Like, that's... 
I almost feel like that's all we can do is just spread the gospel, spread the true love. Yeah, I mean, it's getting spread. Like some way or another it is, it's getting spread. I mean, we, I showed you that post the other day with, it was like 200 lives were just saved in yeah. Gaza. Like, and whenever I say saved, I mean like, like they have like eternity now. Yeah. Like they have true life now. They have true meaning. Like their lives are saved. Because 200 of the people yes. had the same dream about Jesus. On the, on the same, same night. night. Yeah. I, if that's not truth, I don't know what is. Yeah. That's not a, you can't make that up. Yeah. That's not a random, let me just put this out here. That is life changed. 200 people. Yeah. That's, that's love. Yeah, I think that's how we, how we save lives right now. Yeah. I think that is how we, I think that's how we change the narrative is, we can't look at it from a political perspective anymore, but we have to look at it from the point of view of the one that runs the politics, the one that runs mm. the world. Mm. Like we have to look at it from the perspective as these these lives are not saved. Like even if the war doesn't end, these lives are not saved yet yeah. because the gospel hasn't reached them, yeah. because they haven't gave their life to God yet. So the lives that are being taken right now, it's, our job right now is to make sure that the gospel is reaching all the lives that are being lost. Mm. That the that that nobody dies without knowing the gospel. That nobody dies without giving a chance to give their life to Christ. And that I think that's how we change the the narrative of this war. One hundred percent. And hate's not going to stop. Yeah. Hate is going to continue, no matter what we say, no matter what we do. But all we can do exactly like you said, is spread the truth. Yeah. Spread the love of Jesus and spread the light the best way we know how. And that's all we're called to do as Christians, as followers of Jesus. That's our mission, is to spread the gospel. And honestly, if, if the hate comments do come, and people, even if they start attacking us in the streets, like we should still be rejoicing for that i mean yeah. it talks about it in matthew how we should rejoice when people are persecuting us the same way that they did our ancestors i mean if like pastor randy said talking about paul if i can be more like paul if i can be more like paul in this world i'll do it 100 percent. i mean i've told you like i have prayed prayers to where i was just like god just help me i just want to spread your gospel and not be ashamed i don't want to be afraid anymore i want to be joyful whenever somebody is persecuting me yeah. like whenever i see these hate comments i want to be able to fill up with joy and be like at least that person heard the gospel they might not have accepted it but at least i planted that seed at least yeah. i made that start to plant that seed 100 percent. that's all we're called to do we plant the seed and god reaps the harvest that's it 100%. and it's it's our one goal as followers of Jesus, and I'm going to keep on with it. I know you're going to keep on with it. This ministry is going to keep on with it. We're going to spread the love of Jesus. And any person that's watching this video, I want to tell you I love you and that God loves you and that he's waiting for you with open arms, that Jesus is waiting for you with open arms. You're accepted. You're loved. And I want you to know there's a place for you in his kingdom. And even, even in the hate comments, even through the hate that's being spread in the media, I want to tell you, Jesus loves you. Each and every one of you is loved by Christ. So if you're watching this video and you don't know God, I want to encourage you right now to just give your life, give your heart to Jesus right now in this very moment. You don't need a church service. You don't need a band behind you. You don't need the somber music. All you need is a yes in your heart and, and a yes to say that you are going to serve Jesus right here, right now, and every day going forward. No matter how hard it gets, no matter how much people say, no matter how much hate comes your way, I wanna encourage you to follow Christ and never stop. Continue learning, continue growing, because I, that's the only thing that's gonna give you purpose in this earth. So I wanna encourage you, God loves you, and so do I, so does this ministry. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can reach out to us through call, the number that's on the screen, or you can just DM us, private message us on Instagram, 
Facebook, TikTok, anything, at Crosstalk TV. We are here and we want to help. We want to show you the one true love. And even if you don't want to reach out because you're scared of the hate you might receive, I want to encourage you to pray this prayer with me right now. Father God, I thank you for this day. God, I want to thank you for the life that you have given me. And I want to say, God, please forgive me for my sins. And I want to ask that you bring Jesus into my heart right now, God. That you can help me live a life that is serving Christ. God, from this day forward, I pray that and I ask that you will help me to serve you. And in your name I pray. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for watching us here at Crosstalk. And I want to encourage you, go watch our current episode that just released titled The Apostle Paul and Hamas. Until next time, Shalom and God bless.